We've got a student over here. You yeah. can you can someone help him get the mic down to where to his uh there we go. Will like a black hole be able to suck in another black hole? Ooh, oh. good question. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> it's not past your bedtime or anything? <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, can, I, can I ask what, what grade you're in? And, and tell me your name, too. Second, and my name is Clayton. Oh, your name is? Clayton. Clayton. Hi, Clayton. Uh, you're in second grade? And you're thinking about colliding black holes? <laughs> <laughs> You belong in like 12th grade, okay? <laughs> Go tell your teacher I said, put you in 12th grade, okay? okay. Uh, so, it turns out, while I was in college, there was a graduate student at my college, at my university, whose PhD thesis, this is what you do to get to become a doctor, not a medical doctor, but a professional research doctor in astrophysics. His PhD thesis was on the subject of colliding black holes. And what makes it ex an extraordinary problem to solve is that the distortion of the fabric of space and time around one black hole also exists for the other black hole. So you have black holes entering each other's event horizons. So I opened up that thesis. I didn't understand a single page in it. <laughs> um, it's an extraordinary disturbance in the fabric of space and time. And it turns out, while I cannot reproduce the calculation, it's, it's a level way beyond what I was doing at the time and even what I'm doing today. But I can tell you that there are people who have recognized what severely distorted space does, what the effect, the severely distorted fabric of space and time They've studied what effect that has on the passage of time. And it turns out there is, a, there is a path you can take around two moving black holes that haven't quite collided yet, where you can end up in the past of when you started that journey. So it's backwards time travel, according to calculations from Einstein's general relativity is enabled by the severely distorted fabric of space and time, such as what you would get with black holes that came in their own proximity. And so, uh, beyond that, you really want to sort of watch that from a distance. Uh, and so, you say what happens, they, they will eat each other, and they'll make a black hole that's twice as large as the one they started with. Um, but it's, but it'd be quite a ride for any material that's swirling in its vicinity. So, excellent question. Thanks for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs>